In the next 100 days I will become Miles Morales as Spider-Man in Minecraft Hardcore! Will I have what it takes to take the leap of faith, save the Spider-Man from the multiverse and stop the villain Carnage? Watch until the end and find out! On day one I appeared as my normal self, Misaki. Honestly, I prefer to be a superhero. When I least expected it, Carnage and Spider-Man appeared in front of me! You may have defeated Venom, Spider-Man, but I am stronger than him! You are just another parasite, Parasite? Carnage. How dare you! That offended me! While they were fighting, some strange spiders came and bit me! Ow! Now you will pay for calling me a parasite, insect! That won't happen. Spider-Man trapped Carnage with his web! Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Kid, I see you were also beaten by those spiders. I'll teach you everything about being Spider-Man. But for now, we have to get out of here. I can help you, Spider-Man. Oh no, I don't know what's happening to me. Help! Are you okay, kid? Hey, can you hear me? On day two, I woke up in a strange house. What is this place? I think Spider-Man brought me here. I saw that I had two strange artifacts in my inventory. Are these Spider-Man's shooters? Why did he give them to me? In Spider-Man's house, I saw that he had all his costumes, and there was also a book on the floor. What is this book? If you are reading this, it means that I was kidnapped, and you must rescue me. My worst enemy has captured me, and I need the help of an Avenger. Your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. But who is Spider-Man's worst enemy? Hmm, it's probably Carnage. He must have kidnapped him while I was asleep. Now I have to take Spider-Man's place to rescue him. I think I'll use this suit that's here. It looks like it fits me. And after trying on the suit, I gotta say, I felt just as strong as Spider-Man. To be honest, this suit is a bit tight in the crotch area. After trying on the suit, I realized it was day number two and I wasn't even prepared for the adventure. So I left the house in search of heroes, but I didn't see anyone around. Where are my heroes? So I decided to use the day and gather some wood until I could find a hero that could help me find Spider-Man. I crafted some tools, then went into a cave to find stone. After mining some rocks, I upgraded my tools and also collected some iron. I was minding my own business when suddenly I accidentally shot my web! What the heck?! <laughs> I was propelled from the ground and landed on top of a mountain! What just happened?! How did I do that?! On day 3, as I was returning home, I found some lizards destroying everything! <laughs> that Spider-Man will pay for everything it did to us! Hey, you guys! What are you doing?! Leave my heroes home alone! Oh, look, Spider-Man has arrived. Wait a minute, you're not Spider-Man! No, I'm not Spider-Man. I'm Miles Saki, and I'm just as strong as Spider-Man, and I will defeat you for what you've done to his home. Although, to be honest, I'm actually really scared. Can I really defeat them? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, guys, this black Spider-Man thinks he's a superhero. <laughs> uh, you'll see that I am. Filled with courage, I launched at them and started to fight. It seems like the bites from those spiders made me super strong somehow. And then I managed to defeat all of the lizards. Oh no guys, we underestimated him! He has Spider-Man's powers, run away! Yeah, and don't come back! On days 4 to 7, I collected different types of wood from this forest to rebuild Spidey's home. And I also gathered some seeds along the way. Then I put out the fire on the house and began to rebuild it. I think this is turning out really nice. After that, I crafted the furnace and I smelted the iron I had collected before. Of course, I upgraded my tools. Then, I went mining to gather tons of stone for Spidey's home. After I did all that, I placed more furnaces and cooked the stone to craft some stairs for the roof. After placing the roof, the house was finally ready. Man, I hope Spidey likes this new home. With the house rebuilt, I went to practice my web swinging and I had to concentrate to make it work. Come on, Milesaki, you can do it. I waved my arms, but nothing happened. Hmm. Maybe I need to say a magic word. Shazam! Up, up and away! Subscribe! I was about to give up when I made one last attempt. Wow! It worked! It seems like saying subscribe does the trick. I found a ravine and decided to swing across to test my skills. Woohoo! On day number 8, I went to gather some seeds to start my garden and amp food for when I find Spider-Man. With the iron I had collected earlier, I crafted a bucket. There was a river nearby, so I took some water and started creating my wheat crops. 
this will provide me with plenty of food. When my crops grew from days 9 to 13, I harvested my crops. As my father used to say, you reap what you sow. Then I crafted a couple of bread loaves. Now I can nourish myself and restore my hearts. But after eating, I heard a loud noise in the distance. What was that? I decided to investigate and when I arrived, I saw a Spider-Man fighting some lizards. Is that a female Spider-Man? It's Spider-Woman! I better go help her! Damn lizards! I know you've captured the heroes! Where are they? <laughs> we'll never tell you, Spider-Woman! I decided to help assist Spider-Woman and together we fought against those lizards! Oh! Spider-Man, you are here! Thank you so much for Let's helping me! Let's stop these lizards, Spider-Woman! After the fight, we managed to finally defeat the lizards, and Spider-Woman was very strong! If you don't tell me where the heroes are, I'll go after your king and imprison him! Even if you defeat us, you won't be able to defeat our king! Get out of here and tell your king that I'm coming for him! Oh no! Let's go, guys! And these lizards ran away! Spider-Man, thank you so much for helping me! Wait a minute! You are not Peter! Who are you under that mask? Oh, wait! Wait a moment, Spider-Woman! I can explain! And Spider-Woman started attacking me! I tried to confront her, but she knew how to control all of her Spider-Man powers! You're very strong! Ah! Tell me who you are, imposter! I didn't stand a chance against her, and she managed to trap me with her spider webs! You'll end up in jail, imposter! Wait, wait a moment, Spider-Woman! I can explain! And suddenly I turned invisible! What? Where did you go, imposter? Where are you? Whoa, what's happening? You can't see me? Wow, it looks like I became invisible! Come out, whatever you are, imposter! Wait, calm down, Spider-Woman! I can explain everything! I returned to normal and explained everything to Spider-Gwen, including how Spider-Man was captured! Darn it, he was also kidnapped! Do you have any idea who could have captured him? Peter has many enemies, it could have been anyone. The ones who appear good are often most dangerous. Maybe now isn't the best time, but would you like to come to my base? A couple of extra ends would be greatly appreciated. Of course, if Peter trusted you, then I showed you how to be a true Spider-Man. Great, let's go, Gwen! From days 14 to 18, I returned to base with Spider-Gwen. This place looks kind of... outdated? Well, that's how I found it. Seriously, believe me, but we'll improve it, don't worry. Together, me and Gwen went to find some sand and gravel to create concrete and build a room for Gwen. But from the water, we heard the cry for help. Help me! And there were drowned creatures attacking squids. Hey, bullies, leave those squids alone. We faced the drowned creatures and defeated them. Oh, Spider-Man, thank you so much for saving us! Oh, I'm not Spider-Man, my name is Miles Saki and I'm taking up the mantle of Spider-Man for now until we can find him! You act like a good Spider-Man! Take this black tie as a token of gratitude! Oh, thank you so much, Squid! After this, we returned home and felt some skeletons invading our house! So together, we decided to confront them! After defeating the skeletons, we thought their bones would be of great help to us! We crafted some grey and white cement, and after obtaining the cement, we went to the water and turned these materials into concrete! Now we can finally start building Gwen's new room! It's gonna be great! This looks pretty ugly, but it's better than nothing, right? Yes, well, it's not the best, but it's something! When she finished setting into her new room, she told me that she had a mission for me! A village was being attacked by Carnage's henchmen! So I headed there, and as soon as I arrived, I saw some red spiders attacking the village! Taking up the role of Spider-Man, I decided to use my powers for good and defeat these arachnids! I'm going to stop you, insects! Even though there were many spiders and they were taking a lot of life from me, I wouldn't give up! But suddenly, a giant man appeared! Damn you, spiders! Leave Spider-Man alone! This man was very strong and he helped me defeat all of the spiders! Wow, sir! You're so strong! That's amazing! Thank you very much, Spider-Man. I see you're not Peter Parker. No, sir. My name is Miles Saki and I'm the new Spider-Man temporarily until we can find Peter. I was curious that he knew Spider-Man's secret identity, so I asked him about it. So, sir, how do you know Spider-Man? My name is Kingpin, and Peter and I had some battles in the past. But believe me, we are good friends now. You can trust me. I'm also looking for him. I know one of his enemies has captured him, and I need to find him. I'm sure you'll do it, kid. Now, take these sheep as a thank you for your help. 
Wow, thank you very much, Kingpin! On days 19 to 22, I crafted some fences and built a sheep farm. As a thank you, they gave me some wool. So, do you always carry extra wool with you? No task! Just enjoy it! Oh, okay, thank you very much, sheep! After this, I went to visit Gwen and saw that she had remodeled her entire room! Wow, Gwen, this looks spectacular! Yes, this is much better than before, but your butt is really ugly. Yeah, well, you don't have to mention it all the time, you know! <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I can help you improve it. Oh, sure, let's build! First we started by destroying the wooden house that looked really bad and then we went to create more concrete for the house. With grey concrete we began the construction of the new home. It was turning out really well but then it started to rain. So I decided to leave the construction for now and went to sleep. On days 23 to 26 when I woke up I heard a loud noise nearby. What was that? That noise piqued my curiosity so I decided to investigate. As soon as I arrived to the location, I saw the Hulk, and he was fighting a nice beast, and hundreds of carnages spiders. It can't be, it's Hulk! I must admit, it was incredible to see Hulk in action, he looked very strong! Hulk doesn't need help from Peter or Spider. Oh, I'm not Peter, Hulk, but I can help you anyway! Hulk doesn't know you, Spider, be careful with the strong beast. Don't worry, Hulk, I can handle them, uh, I think. I woke up in my bed and there was a strange person with me. Keith, are you alright? You should be more careful with those lizards. Not even a Spider-Man can handle them. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, and by the way, who are you? I'm Bruce Banner. You probably know me as Hulk. What? You're the Hulk? Man, that's so strange. How do you even transform? That's a secret by here. Take this. It would help you with those spiders. Bruce Banner gave me a blade. Wow, what is this? It's a gift from all of us. I appreciate your help against those lizards. Thank you so much, Bruce and Hulk. Bruce transformed into Hulk and leaped out of there, leaving me at the base. Wow, that was incredible! These superheroes are true Avengers! From days 27 to 30, I was searching the forest for any clues about Peter, while also practicing my web swinging. I arrived at a place where there were some trolls and a somewhat strange guy. With my super hearing, I listened to their conversation. Crawl, could you get those spiders? The boss needs them. Not yet, I haven't caught them, but remember, we have the other red and blue hero captured. We can extract information from him. A red and blue hero? That's gotta be Spider-Man! That's true, I need them to interrogate him and tell us the location of the other heroes. After listening to their conversation, each of them went to a different location, but one of those trolls stayed behind. Well, if no one needs my help, I'll go give this flower to my wife. Here I go, Marta! I think this is my chance to follow that little troll. He can surely give me the information that I'm seeking. Following my spider sense, I trailed that little troll and caught him. Hey you, stay right there! Oh no, what's happening? Oh, Spider-Man, it's you! I'm not Spider-Man, my name is Miles Saki, and I need answers, right now! I won't tell you anything, you fool! You can either talk now, or we can do this the hard way! Oh, no, 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 I'll tell you everything, I'll tell you everything, just don't hurt me! Wow, that was easier than I thought! This little troll handed me a map showing the location of the captured hero! Great, thank you very much, little troll! I decided to return home and prepare for my rescue mission. As soon as I got back home, I saw someone building in my house. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Why are you building in my house? Oh, hello, Spidey. I'm improving it, isn't it obvious? This house is really ugly. Yeah, well, I've been told that already. Wait a minute, I know you. It can't be. You're Iron Man. It's so obvious that I won't say it's obvious. Come, help me, kid. Let's make this better. Iron Man gave me some blocks and we started improving the superhero base. I was actually pretty nervous because I was building with Iron Man. Wow, this turned out to be better than before, kid. But I see you're not Peter Parker. No, sir. My name is Miles Saki. I explained to Iron Man who I was and that those trolls had captured Spider-Man. But to face them, I needed to be way stronger. I knew this will happen someday. Peter has many enemies. Maybe Carnage kidnap him. Anyway, I'll upgrade your suit, but I'll need some redstone to do it. Alright, Mr. Stark, I'll look for it! From days 31 to 36, I started mining and found the redstone. Red is the best color after all, and I also found some diamonds nearby. 
Actually, upon further thought, blue is also the best color. And for you, my dudes, what is the best color of all? Leave it in the comments below. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. Remember that you can join the channel for exclusive benefits at an affordable price. Your name can appear at the end of the video and you can also participate with your voice in 100 days. Check out the benefits with your family, I'm sure you're going to like them. After everyone subscribed and with all the loot ready, I return home and give the materials to Iron Man. This will be more than enough. Thank you, kid. I'll get to work on your upgrades. Thank you! While Iron Man was working on the upgrade, I crafted a diamond pickaxe and cultivated some plants. Then, out of nowhere, some lizards arrived! Ugh! You reptiles again! Why don't you leave me alone? I fought against them using all of my powers, but this time they were stronger and they were taking a lot of life from me. Oh no! It can't be! You're in trouble, kid! Let me handle this! And Iron Man unleashed a super attack that severely injured the lizards! That's incredible! Now it's my turn! And we managed to defeat all of them! You were lucky you were with a flying man, Spider-Man! Now get out of here and don't come back! We'll inform our king about all of this! You'll see! Wow, kid! You really act like a true Spider-Man! I thought you were going... Well, no, I wasn't going to do that. I'm going to follow in Spider-Man's footsteps. He's kind of my role model. That's good to hear, but not very smart. Enemies will always seek revenge, but I respect that. After that, Iron Man gave me the upgraded shooter he built with the redstone. Then I went to rest because tomorrow I was going to go search for Spider-Man. From day 37 to 39, following the map that the little troll gave me, I arrived at a village that was being attacked by Carnage's spiders. Ah, these enemies are super annoying. Still, I managed to defeat all of them. Whew, that was kind of difficult. Oh, thank you so much, Spider-Man. Oh, sorry, I'm not Spider-Man. My name is Miles Saki. I'm temporarily replacing Spider-Man until he returns. I thought you were Spider-Man. You're just as strong. And for your help, I give you these crops. Wow, thank you so much, villager. I promise to protect your village if I'm nearby. After saving the village, I followed the map until I arrived at the specific cave. And here I saw a hero trapped in a prison. Oh my god, is that Spider-Man? I will find a way to escape from here. That will be impossible. These bars are made of pure vibranium. Plus, we have your shield. He just needs someone to save him. What? I started attacking the lizard with my webs. I'll stop you, kidnapper. That will never happen! My mini carnage, attack! And this lizard destroyed some cells, releasing some carnage symbiotes! What is this? You attack me with aliens! You're a coward! <laughs> it's a gift from carnage, insect! <laughs> and all these symbiotes lunged at me and attacked! But I managed to repel some of them for a moment, although that cowardly lizard escaped! Oh, symbiotes, I will finish you off! They were starting to outnumber me and also clinging to my body. Ah! Suddenly, my suit was overtaken by the symbiotes and the other aliens died. I even gained five hearts. Wow! What just happened? I... I feel strange. I... I feel strong. Kid, are you alright? Yes, Captain. I feel great. I freed Captain America and we went to look for his shield. <laughs> From days 40 to 42, with Captain America free, we returned home, and I decided to make a room for him. I admire your bravery in facing those symbiotes, and thank you for this new home. Although I feel like something is missing. Yeah, I think so too, but looking at your suit, I think I got a great idea. I crafted some scissors and went to collect some wool to decorate Captain America's house. I dyed the wool in the colors of Captain America's shield, and replaced the entire floor of his room. Wow. This really looks like America. Yeah, after that, I went to harvest some crops as I wanted to make dinner. I was feeling really hungry at this point, but suddenly Spider-Gwen arrived and she had something important to tell me. My Saki, I think I know where Spider-Man is. I obtained information from those goblins and I know his location. Wow, that's incredible, Gwen. Although, could we wait? I was really hungry, please. We don't have time to waste, Malsaki, let's go. Oh, you're right. Let's go find Peter. From days 42 to 44, we arrived at the location. Okay, Miles, Spider-Man should be captured in this place. We have to be very stealthy. Understood. We approached the cave silently and saw that there were some trolls here. 
Well, I've seen these beasts before, but I'm sure they have Spider-Man here. We should attack. Wait, we should listen to what they're saying. We don't have time. Peter has been captured. I'm going to attack now. Wait. With my new carnage powers, I lunged at the enemies. No, damn trolls, I won't let you capture more heroes. Hey, what? Spider-Man, what are you doing here? You've already lost, troll. Now, release the Spider-Man you captured. <laughs> that won't happen. We'll absorb the energy of the Spider-Man and the multiverse will be ours. We will defeat you monsters and you'll end up in jail. In jail? Dude, this monster will die here and pay for everything he has done to the Spider-Man. What are you talking about, Maisaki? Spider-Man don't kill. We're better than that. I don't care about that. This fatso is going to pay for everything he's done. I lunged at the big guy, and with my new carnage power, none of these little trolls could harm me. <laughs> I easily defeated all of them. No, this can't be. Now it's your turn, fatty. No, you won't kill me. Spider-Man doesn't kill. Besides, if you do, my boss will defeat you. Let me tell you, this Spider-Man does kill, and I will also kill your boss. Die! <laughs> 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 no, my Saki! We could have obtained information from that ogre! Why did you kill him? Spider-Man doesn't do that! Uh, you, you're right, Gwen. I acted on impulse. I don't know what's happening to me. But we're going to free Peter now. When we saw the prison, we realized that Peter wasn't here. Instead, there was a cat? Hey, but you're not Spider-Man. Gwen, this is just a gatito. I heard there was a Spider-Man here, not a cat. I don't know what happened! Great! I killed those guys for no reason! Hey! I can hear you! And yes, I am a Spider-Man! My name is Spider-Cat! What? You can talk? This cat explained to us that a portal had absorbed him into this dimension! I don't really understand it all, but he said we needed to find the source of the problem, and that maybe the troll knew about it! That's why you shouldn't have killed him! What kind of Spider-Man kills his enemies? Calm down, little kitty. The Spider-Man is still learning to be a Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm sorry, Gatito. The power consumed my mind. Don't call me Gatito. My name is Spider-Cat. After this, we fed the Gatito and together we returned home. And this time, I decided to sleep as I had a severe headache. Oh, what's happening to me? On day 45, my vision was obscured by red webs. Where am I? I concentrated and saw a Milesaki in Carnage suit and the normal Milesaki fighting in the distance. Hey, stop it! Despite my pleas, they continued fighting and it was horrifying when Carnage Milesaki defeated the other. <laughs> Suddenly, he transformed into Carnage. Oh no! <laughs> Now you will serve us, Miles Saki. We have your power. <laughs> it can't be! No! I woke up and realized I had fewer hearts. Hey, buddy! Are you okay? I dreamt about Carnage, Gatito. I think he's taking over my body and turning me evil. I need to get rid of this suit as quickly as possible. I left the house and went to a place to reflect. How could I possibly remove this symbiote? This symbiote is controlling my mind! From days 45 to 49, the first thing I tried was dousing myself in llama saliva. Ugh, this is disgusting! But it seems like it doesn't work. Then I tried pouring water on myself. Come on, come on, symbiote, get off! Then I went to find some bees to sting me. I angered them and they all stung me together. Ow, ow, this hurts! But it didn't work! I don't know what else to do! I had lost all the hope of returning to normal. I sat on top of a mountain to reflect on my future. Maybe my destiny is to be a villain. I was deep in thought when suddenly it started raining. I think it's time to go back home now. But then, out of nowhere, a lightning bolt struck me from above. Wow! What was that? and the symbiote detached from my body, returning my suit to normal. Hey you! You were the one controlling me! Come here! And the evil symbiote escaped! I know your symbiote weakness now! And it seems like the lightning had unlocked new abilities in me, as now I had an electricity sword in my inventory! Wow, this is so cool! During days 50 to 54, I decided to swing around to clear my mind of carnage, and maybe have some fun. During my travels, I stumbled upon a giant city, this can't be! 
Where did this come from? Despite the initial scare, the tall buildings were perfect for swinging. I went to the rooftops to enjoy the view better. Ah, <sighs> tranquility. Suddenly, I heard a scream in the distance. Uh, help! Uh-oh, that sounds like trouble. I decided to go and see what that was. And I saw a huge monkey destroying everything. Is that a mutant monkey? I don't understand what you're saying, but just to be clear, I'm not Spider-Man, I'm Miles Saki. I jumped into action and fought with it, but it was stronger than anything I had ever faced before. How am I going to stop this giant? Then I heard a small voice beside me. Over here. Over uh -huh. here. Over here is Paddy. Wow, Ant-Man! The coolest one. Do you need help? Yes, please. Immediately, we both started fighting and Ant-Man grew in size. Wow, this is amazing! You better mess with someone your own size, monkey! While Ant-Man was boxing with the monkey, I entangled its legs with my webs! With our combined powers, we managed to defeat it! Thank you so much for your help, Ant-Man! You're welcome, although I have to be careful with these villagers. Yeah, you better return to normal now. Ant-Man returned to his normal size and I explained everything that had happened with Spider-Man and that he could come and live with the other heroes. I'm assembling the Avengers to rescue Peter, will you join me? How can you even ask that? Of course I want to. During days 55 to 59 we returned to the base and I was making a small room for Ant-Man. You do know that I'm from normal height, right? Oh, I'm so sorry, that's true, but uh, if you shrink you can live here. You are right, now I can live comfortably. Thank you. You're welcome, Ant-Man. I was about to prepare dinner when Iron Man appeared. Mansaki, it's time for you to train. Oh, but does it have to be now? I was about to go lunch. You need to prepare yourself to rescue Spider-Man. There's not much time left. Uh, you're right, sir. I'll follow you. I followed Iron Man to a giant white room. Wow, this is incredible. But how is this going to help me train? Jarvis, activate simulation 616. Suddenly, buildings appeared out of nowhere, as if by magic! Alright kid, this is your first test. You know what to do. I started swinging through the buildings until I reached the end. Woohoo! That was super easy! Great job kid. Jarvis, activate simulation 1610. Next, some giant snakes appeared. It was the second test. I used all of my skills against them, but there were too many, and their venom was really hurting me. Unfortunately, they managed to defeat me. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Stark, but I failed you. Well, you did disappoint a little bit, but don't worry. I can see that you have skills that Spider-Man doesn't have. I suppose that once you master them, you'll be as strong as him. I'll try to improve, sir. I'll make some upgrades to your suit. But I need a special material that my friend has. Take this map. It shows the location. I will! During day 60 to 64, I arrived at the village. I saw some lizards burning everything. They must be the friends of Mr. Stark! I started fighting those lizards to get answers about the hero's whereabouts. Following Spider-Man's footsteps, I didn't kill them, but instead trapped them with my webs. And this time, I decided to threaten them to get answers. If you don't tell me where the hero is, you will go to jail forever. And do you know what happens to lizards in jail? No, no, not jail. It's the worst place for lizards. We'll give you what our boss gave us. The lizard gave me a book with a message for Mr. Stark. Thank you very much, and I want you to rebuild this entire village. If you don't, you'll feel my fists on your face! Not in the face! We'll fix it, I promise! Oh, I hope so. After that, I returned to Tony, explained everything and gave him the letter. It said that they had captured Tony's friend and that they wanted 64 blocks of gold in exchange. That lesser king has captured my friend. We must find him. He's probably in the sewers of the cities. During day 65 to 67, we investigated the villages to find the giant lizard. We interrogated a lot of villagers. Village Elder, do you know where that lizard is? I have no idea, but if I see them, I'll let you know. We went to the city to continue asking about the whereabouts of those lizards. And here, I ran into my uncle Aaron. Oh, uncle, what are you doing here? Did you move into the city? Oh, yes, Malzaki. It's just that I wanted to move closer to the heroes and to you. I'm not sure. I've never seen you around here before. You seem suspicious. Hey, Iron Man, why are you saying that? Don't tell me it's because of his looks. No, of course not. I don't say that because of that. It's just that the boy seems familiar. Like an old enemy. 
Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just visiting. Uncle, whenever you want, you can come visit our home. After seeing my uncle Aaron, we went to another village to continue interrogating the villagers. And that's when we encountered Kingpin. Oh, so it's you causing all the commotion. Kingpin, I don't trust you. We had some battles in the past. Oh, come on, Iron Man. That was a long time ago. Everyone deserves a second chance. And besides, I have what you're looking for. Kingpin knew about the King Lizard and he gave us a map with the location. Why are you helping I us? want to show you that I've changed. Now I do good. You always seem nice to me, Mr. Kingpin. Ho <laughs> ho You see, young people like me. This time, I'll let you go, Kingpin. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. I really don't understand why Iron Man doesn't trust Kingpin. He's really good. During day 68 to 72, we arrived at the city marked on the map. Mr. Stark, we're very close. Let's keep going. We followed the map and it led us to a really smelly river. This river is really in bad condition, and it smells awful. Ew, this smells like Thor's farts! If that was a reference, I didn't get it. We followed the mark and it guided us to this tree with a secret entrance. The lizard should be here, but how do we open it? We'll use brute force. Stand aside, kid. And Iron Man used his super attack, but it wasn't effective. It didn't work, sir. Although, look behind you. There's a lever. I activated this lever and the secret entrance opened. Look, sir. It opened. Um, uh, I already knew it worked that way. I just wanted to see if you were paying attention. Together, we entered the city sewers and I accidentally fell into this dirty water. Ew, this is disgusting. Focus, kid. We need to find War Machine. Let's go! Yeah, of course, because you don't have to step into this water full of poop! We followed the map through the sewers and encountered some lizards! Sir, we must defeat these lizards! Take this! Combining our powers, we managed to defeat these lizards! But as we advanced, more and more lizards kept appearing! How many lizards are there in this world? But with strength and coordination, we managed to defeat all of them! And in the distance, we saw that the Lizard King was here with War Machine! The Avengers will come to stop you, Lizard. You will end up in jail. The only one in jail is you! <laughs> Look, sir! Your friend is here! I'll attack! I'll go ahead! Get ready, kid! I'm ready! And Iron Man went to attack the Lizard with his super laser beam! <gasps> uh, oh no! The heroes have arrived! You won't escape this time, Lizard. This will be your end. That will never happen, Tin Can. Lizards, come out here! And from the sewers, a bunch of lizards appeared! Together with Mr. Stark, we started fighting against the Lizard King! Spider-Man couldn't defeat me, and neither will you two pathetic heroes! I may not have Spider-Man, but I have a mild sack. What? He's referring to me! I think Mr. Stark trusts in my strength! With the words of Mr. Stark, I got motivated and began to fight with all my strength! We managed to significantly decrease the lizard's health! It can't be! You're too strong! It's over for you, lizard! Take this! An Iron Man unleashed a super attack that defeated the Lizard King! No, it can't be! And after defeating the Lizard King, we fred War Machine! I knew you would come, Iron Man! I will never leave you behind, my friend. Now let's go. During day 73 to 77, Iron Man worked on fixing War Machine's armor. And he also had a mission for me to find a special material in Wakanda. I need vibranium, kid. Tell King T'Challa that you come on my behalf. I'll let him know. Following Iron Man's map, I arrived at this technological city. Wow! Is this how the future looks? In this city, there were wolves attacking a villager. Help! Wolves! Leave the villager alone! But these wolves were not normal wolves! What are these creatures? I used all my abilities to defeat them, but there were too many and they neutralized my electricity! Oh no! I'm going to die! Suddenly, the Wakandan warriors appear! I can't believe it! They're the Wakandian warriors and they managed to defeat all of the wolves! Wow! That was incredible, ladies! You're very strong! An intruder! Attack him, ladies! Whoa! No, 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 no! I come on behalf of Iron Man! And the Wakandian warriors attacked me and left me with low health! But suddenly, Black Panther arrived to calm the situation! Ladies, calm down! He comes on behalf of the Avengers. 
Your Majesty, we apologize. We were not informed of the situation. Oof, thank you so much, Your Majesty. You saved my life. You're the new Spider-Man, right? Iron Man told me about you. No, I'm not Spider-Man. My name is Miles Saki and I'm temporarily filling in for him. I explained the whole situation to Black Panther and that I needed Vibranium for Iron Man. Of course. Follow me. We'll go to the Vibranium Reservice. Ooh, I can't wait to see the Vibranium! Following Black Panther throughout the tunnels of Wakanda, we arrived at the material and he told me to take as much as I needed. Take what you need. Whoa, this is amazing! I'm going to take all of this vibranium! This material is so shiny and eye-catching, I'll take this and this and... Um, I think that's enough, kid. I don't think Iron Man needs that much. Okay, Black Panther, thank you very much. I'll take all of this. I said goodbye to the Wakandians and returned home. During day 77 to 82, I came across a city where there were a lot of riots. What's happening here? And there was carnage tormenting everyone! Prowler, I know you're here. Come out wherever you are. Oh no, Carnage is destroying everything! <laughs> I know you're the Prowler. You're a traitor. And now you'll pay for everything. Hey, Carnage, leave my uncle alone. He's not who you say he is. So you're saying that he's not the one I'm looking for? That's right. He's not who you say he is. Because he is who I say he is. Oh, you've confused me, Spider. Your uncle is not who you think he is. I know his true identity, and I don't care anymore! I started fighting Carnage to make him leave this place. Using my abilities, I managed to counter him! Oh, this electricity is affecting me! What's happening to me? It's your weakness, and now you'll fall! I gained the upper hand, but at one point, Carnage turned the battle around! Ah, I can't lose! No! When I was about to lose, I used my new Stark Industries web shooter and managed to trap Carnage. Now you fall, Carnage! And with my electricity powers, I weakened Carnage, causing him to lose his transformation! No! It can't be, damn spider! You're stronger than Peter! You've lost, Carnage! This is not over. You'll never find Spider-Man and your uncle is not who you think he is. You'll see. And Carnage left with his web. Then I asked my uncle about what Carnage was talking about and he said he didn't know anything. So I invited him to my house to keep him safe. Do you want to come live with the Avengers, uncle? You'll be safe from all of these villains. Of course. On day 82, we returned home and I told my uncle to sleep in Captain America's room since he was on a mission. Malsaki, thank you so much for everything. You are a good nephew. Don't worry, uncle. I want you to be safe from all of those villains. After this, I went to sleep and had a very strange dream. What's happening? This place again? In the distance, I saw my uncle fighting Carnage. Now that you've abandoned the boss, you will control me. Why did you leave me alone? Hey, leave my uncle alone! That will never happen. <laughs> And my uncle turned into the Prowler! Oh no, my uncle is a villain! Now die, Carnage! No! No, Uncle Aaron! During days 83 to 87, I woke up from my dream. It was just a nightmare. I, I can't believe that my uncle could be a villain. I went to look for my uncle in Captain America's room to have some breakfast, but he wasn't there. Maybe it was with Tony. So I went to his room and asked Tony if he had seen him. I haven't seen your uncle, Naisaki, but you got me the vibranium I asked for? Oh, of course, Mr. Stark. Uh, I forgot to give it to you. Here you go. I gave the Wakandian material to Iron Man and he told me he was going to work on a robot for me. That sounds great, Iron Man, but now I need to find my uncle. Excuse me. It seems he isn't as excited as I thought. Young people these days don't appreciate the efforts of their elders. You're absolutely right. I went outside to look for my uncle, but he was nowhere to be found. Suddenly, Spider-Cat arrived. Gatito! I told you not to call me Gatito, but it's fine. I have an important mission, Lysaki. This Gatito had seen a villain who had kidnapped a Spider-Man. Maybe that was Peter Parker. So together, we went to the location of that villain, and we arrived at this abandoned house. Uh, Gatito, are you sure the villain is here? My name is Spider-Cat, and yes, I believe this is the villain space. Okay, Gatito, let's move forward. As we soon entered the house, there were some strange statues that suddenly activated, revealing warriors with super axes. What ugly statues! But suddenly, they came to life, 
and we had to fight these strange robotic warriors. Ouch! That blade is so sharp! We must fight together! Combining our spider and gatito powers, we managed to defeat them! Phew! That wasn't too difficult, Milesaki! Yeah, your gatito powers really helped! My name is Spider Cat! Then, me and Gatito entered the house, and we found the prowler with Spider-Man! Hey, leave Spider-Man alone! Oh no, Milesaki! We will free you, Spider-Man! That's right! Leave Spider-Man alone! And together with Spider-Cat, we started attacking the Brawler! His fighting style was quite strange, and he managed to deplete our health considerably! You will release Peter Parker, Brawler! It's time to finish him! Despite his strength, I managed to defeat him with my electricity abilities! Oh, you become a strong Miles again! What? Do you know me? I had my doubts about who was under the mask, so I approached him and removed it. I realized it was my Uncle Aaron. Uncle? Are you the villain behind all of this? No, no, Miles. I can't explain. No, this can't be. You were supposed to be good. Aaron explained to me that he was capturing the other Spider-Man on behalf of his boss, and if he didn't comply, he would be killed. His boss was Kingpin. Kingpin is the real villain. He's gathering a Spider-Man to activate a multiversal machine and bring his family back. But I can help you defeat him. What are you talking about? A multiversal machine? Perhaps it's because of that machine that I'm in this place. I don't belong to this universe. For now, we didn't understand what he was talking about. Nevertheless, my uncle released Spider-Man, but he wasn't Peter Parker. Wow, you guys are amazing, Chico Araña and Gato Arachnido. Finally, someone knows my name, although it's mistranslated. You saved me, gracias. You're welcome, Spanish Spider-Man. Now let's go. We have to send them back to their universes and stop the Kingpin. During days 88 to 92, we return home and explain everything to Iron Man. Don't worry, kid. I've built this robot for you to defeat that villain. Wow, sir. I'm going to try it out. I got into the robot and I really felt like Iron Man. Wow, this looks incredible, sir! But aren't you coming with us? We need a leader to guide us! I see that you've gathered a good group of heroes. I believe you can lead them to defeat that threat. Besides, we need to stop a purple alien in space. Wow, uh, that sounds very strange. Uh, we'll take care of Kingpin. Thank you so much for trusting us, Iron Man. After that, Iron Man flew away, and I gathered the other heroes to make a plan to defeat the Kingpin. Suddenly, Spider-Gwen arrived and informed us that she had discovered Kingpin's secret facilities. So we added there, not forgetting to pick up Mr. Stark's machine, I almost forgot about it. During days 93 to 99, we arrived at the village where we first met Gwen. Uh, but this is just a simple village, Gwen. Where is Kingpin hiding? Don't worry, Meisaki. I saw one of his henchmen entering the secret laboratory in this village. Follow me. We followed Gwen and she activated a secret button on a tree, opening the entrance to a secret laboratory. Wow, that was surprising. Now, guys, it's time to finish off Kingpin and his henchmen. Following Gwen's lead, we made our way throughout the laboratory and we found Carnage and Kingpin talking to Spider-Man. Kingpin, if you continue with this, you you destroy all the multiverses. Why are you doing this? For money? You know, Peter, it's not always about the money. I want to bring my family back and I will do it with this machine and your energy. <laughs> we won't allow you to do that. Together, we entered and attacked Carnage and Kingpin. Spiders and the Prowler too? I believed in you, Kingpin, but now I see you're just like the rest, seeking power. You know what, Milesaki? I used to like you, but I won't let you interfere with my goal. I will use your spider energy for my machine. Carnage, attack them! Symbios, attack! Carnage released a bunch of spiders that came to attack us. We started fighting with these symbiotes and the red beast, but it was stronger than before and inflicted a lot of damage on me. <laughs> Mr. Kingpin increased my powers, and now I will tear you apart, spiders! Even though he was fighting all of us, we couldn't seem to arm him. Guys, we have to attack together! Let's go, Spider-Man, don't we give up! We can do it! Let's go, guys! Let's give them a beating! Now, with all together, we fought against Carnage and defeated him! Although my uncle was still fighting against Kingpin alone. No, uncle! What are you doing? He's way too strong! 
and suddenly, Carnage stood up again! <laughs> you think you've defeated me? I will do everything to please Kingpin. You think you can defeat me, Prowler? You were always a good for nothing. I'll do anything to defend my family. Not anymore! Die! And Kingpin defeated my uncle! No! Uncle Aaron! Although we kept fighting against Carnage, we managed to defeat him together! I always have to do the job myself! Ugh. Whoa, he is really strong! This Grandullon packs a punch! I don't think we can defeat him! Take this, man! Don't give up, guys! We have to fight against him! At this point, everyone was exhausted from the battle against Carnage! And Kingpin defeated all of the Spider-Man! Even with my lightning abilities, I couldn't arm him! I'm sorry, Milesaki. I didn't want it to come to this. I told your uncle to follow the rules, and nothing bad would happen. But now I need your energy! Suddenly, Spider-Man broke out of his cage! I won't allow it, Kingpin! Peter, how did you escape? This time I'm going to kill you. You're no longer useful. I will rise as many times as necessary to defeat you. That's what a true hero does. But you'll never be one. And Kingpin launched at Spider-Man. But Spider-Man was at a disadvantage since he didn't have his powers. He fought with his strength. Ugh, I won't give up. Goodbye, Peter. And Kingpin defeated Spider-Man. No, Peter! You'll pay for this, Kingpin. Filled with anger, I rushed at Kingpin to defeat him! Even though I had no life left, I was determined to defeat Kingpin! Where did you get so much strength, brat? You won't be able to defeat me! You'll pay for this! And using all of my strength, I defeated Kingpin! <sighs> Finally, I defeated him! Although I defeated the villain, my uncle and Spider-Man were badly injured! Uncle, it can't be! Don't worry, Miles. I was a villain. I deserve this, but you can be better. Be a great hero. I trust you. It's your responsibility. Ugh. No, uncle, no! Your uncle is right, Miyazaki. What? Spider-Man! Remember this, kid. With great power comes great responsibility. And now it's time for you to take my place as Spider-Man. You must protect them all. After these beautiful words, Spider-Man died. I will do everything to make us proud. Suddenly, Carnage arrived and told me that I had to destroy the multiversal machine to restore everything to normal! Thank you for defeating Kingpin! Now you must destroy the machine and save the multiverse! I have an idea! I will use Mr. Stark's machine! On day 100, I placed the super robot to destroy the crystals! I entered the machine's bases and destroyed it with the super laser beam explosion! After this, I returned to my friends! But as soon as I climbed up, there were a bunch of multiversal portals! The portal is absorbing me! Ah! No! Carnage! Friends! Help! No! Spider-Cat! Chavales, I need you! No! Spider-Man! Gwen, we have to get out of here! Right now! Let's go, Malsaki! And just as we were about to leave, a portal appeared behind us and sucked us in! No! 